best way to measure your elastic is to put it on. And hold your in ending in, your, in one hand and then tighten the elastic around your waist and think about what you're making. Are you making a sundress to wear around your house or pajama pants? Then shouldn't it be as comfortable as it is for you instead of for the pattern company? If you're going to make a dress and have a belt, then make it tighter so you're not tucking under your belt all day long. If you're going to use a, pad a fabric heavier than the pattern company recommends, then go with a wider elastic that will bear the weight of the fabric so you don't have to worry about your dress sliding down your hips all day long. So this is Barbie's waist. Okay, now we're going to take and fold the two lines to each other and fold it one more time. Taking a marker, preferably not a Sharpie, mark the inside and the outside of the fold. Now we've coated our elastic without ever having to get out a measuring tape, because I don't know about you, but my measuring tape is never where I left it, especially with children and those retractable ones, they become a toy. You're going to do the same thing with your garment. You have your side seams. You take your two side seams and you fold the, the fabric so that they line up with each other, and then you fold the fabric again. Do not cover up the seam allowance because that takes away from the math and you all want to be perfect, right? Take the marker, mark the inside and the outside of the fold of the garment also. And you have quartered your garment. And now before we ever begin, we're going to know whether or not we need to ease our fabric. Because we all agree now that easing is not, oh no, it's not going to fit, I better shove it in. It's find out if it's going to fit before you ever sew. And this is how you do it. You take your fabric and you lay your first start line on your elastic with the first with your seam allowance, and then you stretch. If no matter how hard you stretch your fabric, you can't get the first mark on the elastic to meet the first mark on the fabric, then no matter how hard you try while you're sewing, your elastic will never fit your garment. And that means you have to ease in advance, which is gathering your fabric up, and the pearls and piping foot automatically gathers your fabric so that you don't have to ever break your thread when trying to draw up the fabric. Right. So we're gonna lift the foot, and because I do have a guide for this size elastic, I am going to insert it into the tube because it just makes it easier for me. In fact, children as young as four years old have actually sewn elastic using this foot. The fabric, it's pre-gathered, which is gather, easing in advance. And then you stretch the elastic out and you ease the gather back until the first mark on the elastic meets the first mark on the garment. And simply hold the fabric and it gathers it up automatically for you. We never watch sewing machine either with either, any of the creative feet. Your focus is on the trim because we adjust the guide to the needle, so that means the guide is your needle position and you never have to watch the sewing machine needle. It's a, it takes a little of adjustment because you're all used to looking at it, even if you don't think you are, you are. And since it's moving, you can't focus on it, which is why you hunch over your sewing machine. Now I'm going to encase this elastic by simply flipping once and then twice only at the very beginning of the elastic. The rest of it I do not have to worry about. Forget that you have pins. Okay, we're going to take this, put it underneath the presser foot, and now I just pull my, my elastic towards me and the fabric will flip over all by itself. I'm using this, or the narrowest zigzag stitch and the longest possible stitch length. And you go ahead and it's going to look like a straight stitch when we're done. Do not look at the sewing machine needle. And I say that because I still tend to want to look at it. You, you've got to look at the guide on the foot instead of the needle. And when you're done and you go to put those shorts on and you stretch it over your hips, you don't have to worry. The threads aren't going to pop. Now we have a perfect little Barbie skirt.